Hey guys, this is a video unboxing review install and setup guide of the Korea touch on and off kitchen faucet. So this model is a touch on and off with the battery pack and obviously the tap will still work if the battery runs out, you just use the manual lever. If you don't know, now you know, but this very heavy hockey puck thing is what helps the head snap back into place. So that's the guy there we're, we're replacing and if you notice there, It never ever really stays locked in. Quite annoying. First thing you want to do is disconnect the water by tightening the valves on each of these. Verify your water is off. Every make and manufacturer of tap removes slightly diff different but very similar. So you're going to have to look up online how to remove your existing kitchen faucet. So my existing faucet, I had this brass nut at the top and normally they give you a tool, but since we moved into this house, they didn't leave the tool that you kind of back off that nut with. So if you go to um, Home Depot, you can get this um, basin wrench and basically it just, you kind of hold it up and then it keep on turning it and it kind of you want to uh, loosen you flip this over to the other side but I don't know how I could have done this without WD 40 the nut and using a basin wrench so to make things easy I cut the um, the piping um, if you're planning on reusing the faucet definitely don't do that now that you have the old one out drop in the new one So a couple things to notice from Kriya that I absolutely love is it's such a simple process. So once you have your cords dangling or your you know plumbing dangling, all you have to do, first you put this one, uh, sorry, this way. So that's gonna go against the countertop from underneath, right? Then you just have this and where is the other one? This, so that will go like that. And then these kind of like, screw down into this but essentially you just slip on these three things no huge ass nut or nothing and this thing here which is kind of ingenious it's a nut see the threads in there that you can also tighten down just so simple another thing that's really simple about this company and this line of products is so when I was helping my brother um, my brother and I were doing at his house um, this is the weight that helps the the nozzle snap back so when you like let go it just goes right back in his one that was included from the old one we swapped out had a screw right and this company they just have a snap like everything i wasn't expecting to have like everything that i'm used to using just wound up but so far so good so the company didn't provide any instructions on how to hook up the smart touch on and off module. I'm assuming that it goes on the actual handle because you don't want it to go in the hot and cold. That's like, turn, you know, you touch would touch on and off on it, hot and cold, doesn't make sense. It's like an inline valve. Um, needs batteries. And um, I put the ball here because when it pulls out, Pretty good. Not the best, but it's not the heaviest ball. That's for sure. Also to note, the PEX included with this faucet is quite, they're quite short, so they're not gonna reach, you know? So you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's just extensions. Maybe obvious to some, but not all. If you notice there, the red, and the blue, you're hot and cold. When you're turning back on the water, make sure you have a cloth below just in case you haven't tightened stuff all the way. 
right? So let's give it a go. No leaks, looks good. So pretty cool, but pretty crazy as well because you leave the the tap on and then that's a good faucet. I hope you guys found this quick unboxing setup guide and review useful. And if you did, please uh, click the like and subscribe button. Have a great day.